Hello friends. There's a saying in English, positive attracts positive and negative attracts negative. We know this from our childhood. But have we given our deep thought into this? Today we will give you. Today I will tell you that how can you think always positive and what happens when you start thinking positive. Basically we all know that we should think positive. <laughs> But when we really try to do it, whenever we fight to do it, we fail. Because suppose I have uh, got hurt in my leg and I want to think that, uh, no, I don't have pain, I don't have pain, I'm trying to think. But I'm continuously, I'm having severe pain in my leg. So of course we fail to do that because I already have pain. I already feel pain in my leg. So how to think positive, I'll tell you. But before that, I'll tell you a small story which will really help you to understand what I'm going to say. Friends, there was a person named Mr. Sad. So whenever he used to wake up, he wake up and used to feel, oh my God, Again, I have to go to office. Negative one. Again, he goes for brushing and he feels that I have to give presentation. My God, I cannot make it. Negative two. Again, he sits for his breakfast and his daughter does something naughty things and he get disturbed and he said shout on that girl and that makes her more negative then the daughter becomes angry daughter starts crying again negative again by seeing that mr sad really felt sad and even angry also and he just left his home very fast and uh, he took his car and he was in a hurry to reach his office and he again crashed to some other car. It was a very minor but he crashed it. So again negative. Again he reached office late. Negative. Next. Then after reaching there, he was feeling very bad and he was thinking that, oh, I should have not shouted on my daughter. He realized it. Again, he came back from office and he saw that his wife and his daughter is not talking to him. Negative. Why all this negative happened? Nobody knows. But the reason is, this is his habit. Let's take an example of Mr. Happy. Whenever Mr. Happy gets up in the morning with full charged mind, because he knows that morning shows the day and he feels that, oh my God, today is, a, today is another morning and I'm alive and I have thousands reasons to be happy. So he goes and he just brush up and he, do it, he does it very nicely and he feels good. He sits with his family, he takes breakfast, he enjoys the breakfast, he talks to his uh, daughter, he just makes fun, so many things. Then daughter goes for school, doctor say, uh, daughter says tata, things go so many, so good. And uh, by this, uh, he starts for office and he drives very well, nicely, reach office on time. Um, sits for his work, he does work quite well, positive, 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 positive. And that's the reason we call it negative attracts negative and positive attracts positive. Friends, is it really tough to be positive? Is it really tough to think always positive? No, no. I'll tell you how. Friends, when we think 
negative suppose any negative circumstances come and uh, we think negative suppose this is the major negative point but we always think about these negative and that is the reason this negative thinking it gets divided into two negative things again these two again breaks into four again four breaks into eight like that these 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 all one by one all negative happens just like a cell division happens in our body system same with positive suppose we are positive for some reason this is that reason but it gives two new reasons i wake up in the morning i feel good this is feel good for that i do my all work very nicely on time we sit for uh, family breakfast we enjoy the breakfast we have fun with our daughter and wife so all positive 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 who so do you think is it really tough okay i'll give you one uh, very practical demo suppose if we take the story of mr sad when he wake up him when he wakes up he thinks very negative oh my god i mean i have to go to office one thought the first one but suddenly he takes one positive ideas from here to here so this positive thought has been transferred here this is positive so mr sad got a thought that so what is a nice morning i am alive after this if he succeeds if he put more stress on this positive so what i am so good i am alive i have got an another day to live and i have want to live life more happily so this will start again generating positive thoughts these all are positive and suppose suppose this positive do not become successful to breaks into or to multiplies into some more positive if he fails if it fails to do that at least don't forget one thing positive not only increases it also balances it means suppose this positive thoughts which has been transferred from here to here if it fails to divide into further positive if it fails then at least it is managing or the balancing this negative thought balancing and helping this thought not to generate and not to multiple into the this bunch of negative thoughts i am again repeating one thing when we transfer one ideas from here to here it if it clicks then it will generate so many positive ideas again as per its nature or else if it fails to do that at least it will balances or it will just nullifies or it will just manages this negative thought and stop this negative thought to further divide it into so many negative so my, my dear friends positive things not only helps to upgrade or increase the positive results it also helps the negative not to again get multiple into some more negatives positive thinking of course it's positive thinking 
but sometimes when we manage our negative thoughts and stop some negative thought to get multiple into multiple negative thoughts it is also a positive thinking because may not be it is it, it may not be a winning for positive but at least it helps to stop the negative thoughts any how friends the main thing is to stop it to stop all these further negatives something happens okay i'm fighting with it at least it is stopping other negatives why don't you think that it is also a positive approach towards life so if your positive thoughts fails to create further positive at least it will help you and your thoughts to think always positive at least not negative friends that is the reason i have written here the power of thoughts the power of fight whenever we win we say we are winning whenever we fail to think positive we say we are failing but if we at least fight with our negatives that's also a winning friends because fight what does it really mean fight means fight off your ideas and grow happy thoughts so fight off with your ideas and grow your happy thoughts and it is only possible when you start thinking suppose you are thinking anything positive then of course it will get divided into so many positive and it will increase positive 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 and if you think all this negative and if you realize it that i will not think further then you will add one positive thing thoughts into that negative group and you will feel that your further negative thoughts will stop and positive will get nourished and if your positive fails to increase more positive at least it will stop your that negative ideas which would have been divided into so many negatives at least stopping negatives will also make you a positive person try this out my dear friends and for further more practice more practical practice you can just log in www.thaidichi.com and or you can just call me my name is subhash karte your life coach thank you very much and have a nice day